have a ghost baby. Well, to be fair, at least it doesn't show like full nudity in that previous scene, kind of like it did on Phantasmagoria too. Ah, boy, that was a that was a dumpster fire of a that was a dumpster fire of an experience. That game was. Eesh. I'm not sure if it breaks T if uh, that one broke TOS or not. I don't think it did. No, I don't think it did because generally, like. Uh, Twitch is okay with it as long as it doesn't... Yeah, thank you. Th thank you, Jim. I needed that. Yeah, so we need to lighten the mood around here after watching that scene. That was a good scene, wasn't it? Yeah! <laughs> Even better. I'm sorry, Neo. Those are for... Those overlays are for subscribers. It works, it just works for subscribers. It's one of the perks that I offer on here. I offer overlays, animated overlays, as well as sound effects. As a matter of fact, I need to add some more sound effects soon for the overlays. Not. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. <laughs> yeah, I suppose Don did, didn't he? Yes, he sure did. So how's our countertop? Is it still one piece? Yeah, wash your hands after that one, Adrian. That was too much. Thanks, AJ. Oh boy, that's a great clip. Thanks, AJ. I needed that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, oh, I forgot, but I forgot that I added the Wilhelm scream. What? What is this shower? I don't know. I don't even know how they, like, take a bath in here. Does it have a curtain? Well, they clip, if I must say. Well, at least someone likes it. Oh, she's gonna use the toilet. She's using the toilet again! It was so nice, we had to do it twice. Beesh. The weak flush. Come on, you can do better than that. You can do better than that. <laughs> God. Thank you for the clip, AJ. I appreciate it. <laughs> if I added some more sound clips on here, what should I add? I'm having trouble deciding. I guess I should have just like a basic soundboard of some kind, with all like the the ba the the essentials, you might say. Don really should have been careful while he was doing that. After all, Adrian does have a hammer in her pocket. Got deep pockets, by the way. I also noticed that in this... In, in Phantasmagoria, she doesn't... stuff uh, things in her pants quite the same way that Gabriel Knight and uh, Grace did in The Beast Within. World War X, how you doing, man? It's good to see you. I hope that life is treating you good. Oh, we can't click on Don's dark room anymore. That's concerning. Yes, I, I agree, Jim. It was uncomfortable for a lot of reasons. As I understand it, that was supposed to be what Roberta Williams, the writer of this game, 
considers the moral event horizon for the game. Where it's the point where uh, Dawn can't come back from. Ugh. I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably just gonna edit that part out once I send it to YouTube because it's just, it's, it's too uncomfortable. <laughs> I'll probably just break Phantasmagoria up tonight into two different uh, highlights. Oh, in the mobile game you play, someone gifted you a stronger account character? What, uh, what mobile game is it, man? I'm going here. Oh, wait, there's actually something in here? I just went in here on a whim. I didn't realize there was stuff in here. Is there money in here? Adrian, we need money so we can buy stuff. Raid Shadow Legends? Oh, wait. Is it Raid Shadow Legends? Oh my god. Is it really Raid Shadow Legends? Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. What do we got here? Oh. Oh. Okay. I found this in your room. Where did you get it? Why, Zoltan, what do you mean? You know exactly what I mean. Gaston gave it to you, didn't he? No. I bought it when we were in London last month. I'm not a fool, Marie. I've been watching. When he looks at you, you smile and blush. And he's always hovering around you backstage. But you're wrong, Zoltan. He's just a friend. That's all. Well, me up, Jim. But he's your prop man. He has a right to be at your party. Please don't accuse me of this. Believe me, Zoltan. I love you. Only you. I want to believe you, Marie. I do. There's a button there. Where's the butt? I heard a butt in his voice. Show me the butt. I guess she lost her psychic connection. Sorry, Adrian. Don't worry, it was just the box spring people arguing from yesterday. I guess, she, is she ready to move on? Yep, there it is. This is like a movie game? Yes, it's an FMV game from the 90s. So all the stuff that you see on screen is just movie clips arranged into a video game. <laughs> ready for the crucifix? I'm gonna try. Uh, wait, do we have it in our inventory? What the hell? Take it. it. What the hell did she do with it? I thought we were going to take stuff, man. Can't we take anything? Adrian, take something and trade it. We got to have something to defend ourselves with. We got to have, like, uh, protection against the dark arts. Well, I guess she's just gonna... Ugh. Raw dog. Dawn's wrath. Yep. She sure is. This this had this they had five dollar earbuds in the eighties. This takes place in the nineties. They didn't have the technology to do this sort of thing in the eighties. Computers just weren't capable of doing it. Like if you want to see a an adventure game from the eighties, I can show you an adventure game from the eighties. It has Really... It, well, yeah, it's very, very pixelated. Text parsers were the name of the game in the 1980s. Wasn't until 1990 that we had nicer graphics and voiceovers and music. Hey, I've been waiting for you. I'm sorry, Harriet, I forgot all about it. You ready to work? Yeah, ma'am, tell me what to do. Well, let's see. Kitchen dishes need washing. Our bed needs to be made. Um, 
Bathroom needs cleaning. Furniture there's, needs polishing. There's ectoplasm upstairs. This floor needs sweeping. <laughs> I'll get right on it. Anything else? Anything else? Uh... Gary, I thought you might be interested in... No, never mind. Okay, right. fine. Anything else? Um, uh, uh, fire poker. Gary, I thought you might be interested in... Uh... No, never mind. Okay, fine. Anything else? I'm trying! I, I, I don't know what she wants. Does she want key? Gary, I thought you might be interested in... Uh... No, she doesn't want key. No, never mind. Anything okay. else? Yes, take 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 my hammer. Gary, I thought you might be interested in uh, anything other, else. Other key? I'm gonna try it. Gary, I thought you might be interested in Nope. Uh, this is not profitable else? at all. Okay, we're not gonna get anything else out of her. Uh uh okay, I guess we're just done here. Oh Maybe. by the way, uh See you carrying around that newspaper. You want me to throw it away for you? Please, would you? Oh. What the hell were we carrying it around for anyway? Were, were we supposed to use that with something? What the hell were we supposed to use it for? I don't know, man. You remember roller skates and Walkman from the 90s? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know, is that like the stereotypical 90s thing? She was interested in the newspaper, I know. She just like, acted like she wasn't. I thought we were going to get something out of that. Instead, she just takes it away and throws it in the trash. What the hell? <laughs> why, is she, why is she playing coy? Take out my trash for me. That's another thing you can do. Also, why is she not brought up the ectoplasm? Come on, make her clean that stuff up. Yeah, I don't know where Cyrus is. I'm looking for him right now. I can see they left their trash here. They're making themselves very much at home right now. Well, I'll find him. Cyrus? Was for you growing up? Okay. Um, God, I never did much roller skating. I had trouble handling roller skates. Every time I tried to roller skate, I would kind of just lose control of the skates and wind up accidentally doing the splits. Oh, there he is. Hey, we found him. Uh, we should probably go back this way. You would think that he'd be hiding near a tree, but turns out, nope. Um, I'm gonna go back inside the house here. And then we're gonna go out the other door, and that's how we're gonna find him. Hey. Where'd that lady go? I thought she'd be in here cleaning and stuff. Instead, she kind of just disappeared. I wonder if we're gonna win this game. I don't know. What the? Yeah, you stupid cat. Wait. Doing? I play with you is all. What the hell are you doing? Stupid Jesus Christ! Stop hitting the Cyrus. cat! Cyrus, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. Ow. Jesus Christ! Yeah, no wonder you got bit. What were you doing with my cat? I, 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 would, I would be playing with it is all. Cyrus, don't play with him. Okay? Okay. This is exactly what I was talking about. This is way more trouble than it's worth. Having these people on your property like this. You should have just told them to get lost. Now you got this huge guy banging your cat with a stick, bro. Wonder if the cat's okay. <laughs> I'm kind of worried about the cat now. You know he's gonna try to play with it again. 
Oh, sweet Jesus, look at that. Good God, there's a face on the side of the house? Oh, God, I didn't even know we could go here. Oh, oh, is that what that goes to? Where, where did Cyrus go? He just disappeared. I don't know where where did he? Oh, there he is. Is he is he like hitting my cat again? No, it looks I'm like he's sorry, chopping sorry. wood. When I was in the town room, I could see a little building in the woods. I was wondering, have you seen it? Yeah, it's it, it, over there. Well, can you show me the way? Well, the trail's all washed out. Usually, what I do, I just jump over it. But where is it, Cyrus? Over there. Oh, oh, okay. I'll show you. Come on, follow me. Where is it? She hasn't seen. I guess technically she's not supposed to have seen. Uh, the. <laughs> she's not supposed to have seen the tree yet. I don't think. If she's playing dumb. Oh wait, it's over this way. Man, he really just ran ahead of us. There he is. We found him. Yeah, push that over for me, big guy. Here's those big farm muscles, I guess, and... Oh, there you are. Build me I a bridge. For you. I'm sorry, Cyrus. I tried to hurry. Oh, that's okay. Uh, see? There it is. Just like I told you. Come on. Yeah, she can't do that. Cyrus. Looks kind of dangerous. Isn't there another way? No. Oh, He's coming back over. There he goes. I, I can fix it. There he is. Oh, he's good. He's doing a little spit. He's getting ready. There he is. All right. Oh my god, it looks so fake. He's very obviously not touching anything. <laughs> Ants were just hovering in space. They had to cut away so it didn't look so oh funny. God, Cyrus. He's impressed. He just toppled a whole tree. <laughs> there you go. You're amazing, Cyrus. I can't believe you did that. Oh, of course. God. I'm strong. See? Ah, boy, you are strong. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm always Ooh. Ooh. That, that I'm more muscles than bread. <laughs> yeah, well, your mother was right, Cyrus. Ah, uh, heck. <laughs> you, you ain't nothing. Uh, Cyrus! <sighs> I, I gotta go. God. She kind of, she kind of burned you there, Cyrus. I know, they're, I know, I know. The voiceovers are, are, are really something special. They just keep on echoing and they will never stop. I know, the production quality is kind of hit and miss. Ah, the 90s. They were just, they were just making this stuff by the seat of their pants. They didn't know what the hell they were doing, really. I know, it's like, they're trying so, so hard, but also the B-movie is strong with this one. Boy, I hope that tree is stable. Like, he pushed over a whole ass tree there, but I don't know if it's going to stay in one place. Uh, yeah, be careful there, girl. She's got it. Yeah, she, she's walking the tightrope. And she's okay. Yep, she made it. She's doing good. School project. What's up, World War Ten? Oh, God, I was wondering if there's anything over here, but it turns out there's actually something right there. What is that? Looks like something sparkling. What is that, money? Oh, that is not money. That is, I don't know what the hell that is, but it's not worth anything. I can almost guarantee it. 
Quality is like a school project. Oof. Hey, what the hell is this? What am I looking at? Is that from a chair or something? Is it? Yeah, it might be. God, why do we have that in our inventory? It doesn't look useful at all. The quality is... Quality, I guess, is a little bit like a school project. Though I have to say that, yeah, this was kind of state-of-the-art back in 95. Sort of. Of course, now... Eh. Oh, that looks like something useful. What's down there? Oh, it's a trowel! Oh! Are we gonna do some gardening? Adrian seems like she could use a hobby. Oh yeah, look at that fine film quality. Oh my god, it's so grainy. I guess there was a reason it was half screen, huh? Uh oh. I do believe that's Carno back there. Hi, Carno. Zoltan, what are you doing here? Well, she asked you a question. Oh, he wants something. He's going to tend to some plans. Oh, those eyes. I've come to do a little gardening. Gosh, this is going to get... Oh, this is getting uncomfortable all over again. Jesus Christ! Oh my god! Oh! Dig it. Can you dig that? That was really bad, I'm sorry. Yeah, we should run away, Adrian. Who knows what kind of danger you're in? <laughs> oh. oh, that really affected her. I guess she's going to take a minute. Don't take too long. We got places to be, girl. Oh, wait. What does this look at? Can we actually use it? Or... Like, is it just... I can't see anything. Oh, it's missing a lens piece. Oh, okay. What was happening? Uh, Carno force fed her dirt. Stabbed her in the mouth with a trowel and then force fed her dirt. It was pretty brutal. Well, I mean, it wasn't the most brutal death I've ever seen, but it was pretty grody! Oh, there's a head there! <laughs> Ew! Jesus Christ! That's too much. Yeah, go ahead, let's see what's in there. What's that? Is it is it a, is it a head or are you seeing things or or what? Yeah, oh, that's a head, all right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh that's God. it. Oh, that's rough. 
Oh god. Obviously we gotta take it with us. <laughs> Are you just gonna leave it here? That shrunken head has kind of just been here for a while, hasn't it? I do believe so. I don't think she wants to take it with her. I guess I don't blame her, but still, I would very, be very much interested in seeing what happens. Oh, wait, we can use it with this. Okay, let's... Okay, can we use our microscope yet? Or not our mic... Well... Our telescope, yeah. Is it good to go? Or does it need more? Wait, it works! Yes! Yes! Oh. What's that other window there by the tower room? Uh-oh. I think we've got more exploring to do back at the house. Adrian. What do you think we're going to find lurking within the house? What strange things lurk within the shadows of Carno's death manor? Curiouser and curiouser. The plot thickens, friendos. Yeah, don't fall, Adrian. We've we've made it this far. Yeah, that'd be a hell of a way to go. Falling off a log just in the middle of the quest. Not today. Not today. For now is the time where we go and find what else is in this house. Oh, wait, what do you see? Maybe that could be. Unwelcome visitors. No, it's not Cyrus. He doesn't drive. Probably Don. Who else but Don? Hello? I am looking for a car. Who drove up? Hey, there's a car. Well, if we go over this way... Hey, there it is. All right. Oh. oh, there he is. Who called you? You must be installing the phone. Hi. Yeah, I'm Mike. Your uh, caretakers let me in. Oh, great. I'm going nuts without a phone. Yeah, I can understand that. This is quite a place you got here, man. Adrian. Yeah, it is quite a place, isn't it? I better get back to work. Okay. Oh, they haven't had a phone? Somehow I suspect they won't have a phone for long. This seems to be the order of the day here. No, keep doing what you're doing, man. Because sooner or later, I'm going to have to call Dan Aykroyd to take care of them ectoplasms hanging on my wall. And when it happens... Adrian! Jesus who Christ! Is that woman? Um... Who is she? God damn, dude. Harriet. I don't want her around our house, so you had better get rid of her. It's not an unreasonable request, but Jesus, goddamn Christ, dude. <laughs> He's grabbing me. Poor woman. Keeps up this action. He's not going to have a wife for very long. Hmm. Ah, uh, we can click on this wall now. Sir, 
a false panel there, or are we just going to have to bash our way in? Because we can do that. I have a tool for this sort of thing. Nah, I think we're going to have to bash our way in. Uh, she's always using the most inadequate tools for this sort of thing, but eh, there it is. All right, my lady, go ahead and start. Or oh, well, that's how she's gonna do it. She's just gonna pull the paneling off. All right, I guess that kind of makes sense. Boy, that's not really much of a wall there, is it? Kind of just breaking off the splinters. Yeah, yeah, that's coming right out. Nice work, Carno. <laughs> Not fooling anybody. <laughs> yeah. Oh my boy, this might take a while. There she goes. Yeah. Kick it again. I think you need to kick it one more time, my lady. There. God, are you in yet? They're gonna show the whole thing, aren't they? This is kind of nice. This is a. Uh, it's a quality. A lady destroys a wall. Footage. Right, is that open enough? I guess. I guess. Let's go inside. Watch your step, Adrian. I love it. Yeah, look him over, Adrian. The many wives of Carno. Carnavash. Yeah. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. God, some of those portraits are a little brutal. Like, what? What happened? It's a, <laughs> did you really? Congratulations. This only, huh? Easy game. Glad, I'm glad it's easy. First try, too. I bet you did. <laughs> Fix or it didn't happen. What if we go over here and click this? It's in the trunk there, Adrian. Uh-oh. Wait, wait, can we get in? Does it open? Oh, it does open! Eee. You used all your healing items in the process. Yeah, I bet you did. Ugh. Honestly, it's probably doable if you have a lot of healing items, and I probably should go farm some healing items or something. Um, yeah, if you can, like, beat the knights and demon souls a bunch of times and get a bunch of healing items, because they pretty much drop a healing item every time, then, yeah, I guess that would get pretty easy. The heal drops are kind of inconsistent in demon souls. Sometimes the enemies drop them, other times they just don't drop anything. No. Well, We'll say that once in a blue moon they'll drop something. Alright, what you got for me? <laughs> cool. I'm glad we picked that up. That's a good that's a good that's 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 good. You know what we should look at that again and see what else is in there. It's this. How pleasant. Oh, that's nice, actually. Decidedly less terrifying. What is it? It looks like a marble or something. Oh, it's it. Oh, oh, we can look at it, though. Like, this is some kind of locket, right? 
Oh wait, what what what's going on here? Oh, it's a pin. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that probably will lead to something more terrifying. I don't know what yet though. Yeah, let's read this. Good stuff. Tell me the contents, my lady. Read me some scary bedtime stories. You know, Nip Nips, I will be honest. September 14th. Hold on, story time. Story time. Dear Diary, I grow increasingly fearful of Zoltan. I feel the burn of his eyes upon me as he watches my every move. Cardo's watching you. Such fears. Did she suffer when he snuffed out her baby life? How could people believe him when he said it was an accident? Oh, that's it bullshit. It was no accident. We know. Dear diary, Zoltan wasn't always like this. I remember, not so long ago, when he was loving and gay. He was overjoyed when Sophia was born. I know, I remember. But after his trip to Paris last year, he changed. Something happened to him. I don't know what. That now, he went to Paris. All I have left are my plants. That's the difference. I spend most of my time in my greenhouse, as far away as I can get from Zoltan's ever watchful eyes. No one is ever the same after they go to Paris. If you go to Paris, you're irrevocably changed. And all you ever want to do is go back to Paris. That's why he's so that's why he's so mad. Like he came back here and then he realized, wow, I live here now. Got coffee everywhere. Whew, that was a close one. Good thing I got the big mug tonight. Hmm. Anyway, as I was about to say, like, God. I was playing Demon Souls earlier. Fists only, no armor. And uh, God, it, 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 the the run is just pain. It's pretty cool, but it's it's fun. I don't know why people want to watch it. To be honest, I guess people just enjoy the suffering or something. Like they find the pain of this run entertaining. But like yesterday, the average was pretty good, and then today it was even better. And I guess tomorrow I'm just gonna play more fisty cuffs run. <laughs> <laughs> and bring more pain to the table. <laughs> uh, it's 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 fun though. I've been thinking about what when I'm gonna do some Nintendo stuff soon because I'm trying to decide when I should do some Nintendo stuff. I'd really like to do some NES stuff again. Um, it probably won't be in the same way that I've been doing it, though, or that I was doing it. The ASMR gaming stuff. Um, because every time I, I upload, like, a Nintendo game over on YouTube, it does, it does good numbers. But also, I want to continue my Final Fantasy playthrough. I got a handful of things that are going to be great for like casual playthroughs, and I've got some other things that I'd like to try working on speedruns of. Well, anyway. I guess we'll figure it out together, guys. Excuse me. We'll figure it out together, guys. What else can we click on in this room? Oh, that looks sus. What's this? Oh. Oh, God. Oh, wait. What the hell? Oh, wait. What's in the mirror there, Adrian? Oh, that ain't right. Yeah, look behind you, girl. This is... This is no time to check how you look. I'm... I, 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 honestly. Yeah, let's just click over here and see what happens. Ah, uh, yeah, there's the good stuff right there. That doesn't look weird and horrifying at all. That's just a... That looks like something you would see in Saw. 
God, does it shock you? Yeah, I know. There's nothing weird here. This is normal furniture. This is what everyone has in their living room back in the 1800s. How it fell out of fashion, I'll never know. It really has a way of making heads turn. Badoom. No, don't stop looking at it. You're not done yet. Oh, we can look at these again. All right, check out this wife right here. Like that, this wife looks like it ate one of these other wives, right? Like all these other wives look perfectly normal, but that one, God, it's like she's got a neck. She's got a neck and a half. That choker she's wearing is custom made. I guarantee it. That's how you gain the power of the other wives. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, Nick, if, if that's how you gain the power of the other wives, then she must be the most powerful wife of all. She's probably the only one who survived. I mean, hell. I guess you do what you have to do, don't you, my ladies? Okay, I think we've gotten everything we're gonna get out of this area. Let's go downstairs and see what happens. Yeah, we don't want Don to see that floor. Don sees that floor, he's just gonna have conniptions. By the way, is his door open? It's not. Yeah, we can't talk to Don for nothing. You dirty, rotten, stinking, filthy son of a bitch. What the hell? Stay away from my life. Just what are you accusing me of, sir? I know exactly what you're doing here. John, shut up! He was spurning my advances. But he hasn't installed the phone yet. Don't you ever tell me to shut up. Oh, the chapter's finished. Dude, we finished like so many chapters in one night. I guess it's great that we're making so much progress. I just wasn't expecting Phantasmagoria to go so fast. <laughs> Chapter 5 Friday, October 21st, 8.30pm Adrian rests peacefully in bed. The mattress people have not reached up to... Oh, that's concerning. Jesus Christ, see a doctor now. Girl, what did you do? Why are you bleeding? Okay, she poked herself with the pin. Why well, you shouldn't carry so much weird stuff in your pockets. Eight thirty. Damn, girl, you're wearing shoes in bed? What is this filthy behavior? Take off your shoes when you're in bed, you weirdo! Hey, I like Sonic. How you doing, man? Good to see you tonight. That's life treating you, dude. By the way, I like Sonic. I added a ton of new emotes. We have 50 of them all together now. And I hope you enjoy all the better Twitch TV emotes. God, 50 emotes and better Twitch TV. If you guys don't have the extension downloaded, you can install in your browser and you have access to so many new emotes in chat. There you go. Anyway, how you been since I saw you last? I like Sonic. <laughs> yeah, those are some of them. God. Um... Uh, our boy over here, uh, I think it was Nip Nips earlier. I, it's hard for me to remember sometimes from chat, but you were telling me about like, what was it Franken, 
Franken uh, something TV, where it was like a combination of two different serv Frank or uh, Franker faces. Yes, Franker faces. That's like a combination of two different things, right? And it has like a bunch of different emote options, I guess. Pretty sore because you started going back to the gym. Yeah, going back to the gym that'll do it to you. What did, what did you do today at the gym? Did you lift weights? It sounds like you were lifting weights. You downloading now? All right, World War Ten. Go ahead and enjoy, it, my friend. And and use all the emotes that you want. Oh, it has a ton of Twitch options in general. All right, I think I might be interested in that. Um, if it's got more options for everyone to have more fun here. Like, anything that offers more versatility for everyone is something that I am very much into. I've been slowly adding so much more to the channel recently, and if, uh... Like, what, what else does it offer, out of curiosity? Because I don't know that much about it. It's kind of shameful on my part, but I had never thought of better Twitch TV or any of that stuff until I Like Sonic brought it up to me the other night. And then I realized, well, God, he's right. We could be doing so much more with everything. We got like all these measly emotes and on the subscriber stuff, which is great. And I hope people enjoy them, but I can offer people a little bit more, I think. <laughs> you worked on shoulders and you did chest yesterday. I worked chest and back earlier this past yesterday morning, Sonic. So I know right where you at, right. Excuse me, right where you're at. Like, I'm feeling it because I was pressing 215 and I was doing like 155 on the incline press. I'm, I'm kind of proud of myself for getting 12 reps out of that. I didn't think I was going to be able to, but I got 12 reps out of that 155 on the incline press. Ah. I really want to start building my chest up a little stronger. So I gotta start pressing some heavier weights. I've just lost so much weight recently that it's hard to keep that weight up on the bench press. What, what kind of chest workout do you do out of curiosity, man? Also, uh, what kind of shoulder workout do you do? Because I have a, I have my own specific shoulder workout that I do that I really, really enjoy. And it's getting me pretty good results, I think, because I look at my shoulders sometimes while I'm streaming. And I know... Hey, I'm starting to look pretty defined over here. My shoulders are starting to look like they're a little broader sometimes. Yeah, this is nice. 155 is great on incline. Yeah. I agree. Well, I'll take a look at uh, that place you were telling me about, Nip Nips. Uh, Franker Faces. Franker faces. I'm gonna bookmark that search right now, so I don't forget it. Franker faces. All right, cool. Who knows? Maybe we can offer a little bit more to subscribers that way. I'll tell you right now, for subscribers, I really wish that Twitch would offer just like a few more things. Um, on board with their with the like the regular Twitch setup. Like right now, I can offer subscriber only vods if I want to. Um, and sometimes I I do offer a subscriber only vod, such as like the reward streams. I just I set those to subscriber only, right? Because well, that makes sense. But for all the other vods, no, it doesn't make a lot of sense at all because that's just going to alienate a bunch of people. And then, like, there's the emotes, and there's the ad-free experience, but beyond that, I don't really know that Twitch has... Well, there's subscriber-only streams, but that's just going to completely nerf your stream if you set it to subscribers only, right? So, yeah. I don't know, I just wish there were a few more things that I could offer through uh, a Twitch subscription. And currently, I'm doing it through, like, uh, subscriber overlays and sound effects and stuff, but... Maybe I can look into this and get a little bit more for people. 
Anyway, we're playing Phantasmagory tonight and having a good time. We've been doing these late night adventure games uh, for since Monday, and then we, we were also doing it Friday of last week. We've been doing it for almost a week now, and it's been pretty fun. I noted that my ASMR reading scary bedtime story stuff wasn't doing real great on the weekday, so I decided to do something a little bit different on the weekdays, and hopefully people will have a little bit more fun while we're doing this, just to, just to mix things up and to have some laughs together. And so far, it seems like people have been really enjoying it, which uh, makes me feel pretty good, because I'm glad to be able to share this with you guys. I just... This is the kind of stuff I played when I was a kid, when I wasn't playing, like, console games and stuff. We had all these adventure games, and we were just... This is... Oh, hey, Network Brian. It's good to see you. I hope that life is treating you good, man. ASMR? I only do ASMR on Saturday and Sunday, Network Brian. Those are the best days for it, so those are the only days that I do it. I mean, I try. I tried the ASMR stuff out for the last week, the and um, I don't know. Just didn't seem like the numbers were all that good. Alas, ASMR is only a small part of what I do here. Seven TV Global is another one similar to Franker Faces. Yeah, I think uh, Nip Nips was telling me that Franker Faces like integrated both or something. I, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong about that. Like I said, I don't know much about it. Flat bench, incline, dumbbell flies, flat flies, pullovers, cable flies. Oh wow, that's quite a comprehensive workout. Holy moly, that's pretty good. <laughs> you maxed out a chest press machine. That's impressive. Congratulations on that, I like Sonic. That's insane. You gotta be a strong dude then. Um, you said something about people not enjoying it. Uh, what are we talking about? I'm, I'm, I don't know that I understand what you're asking me. I'm sorry. You mean like people not enjoying the ASMR reading? I never said that people don't enjoy it. It's just that... Uh, if people don't show up consistently, then I have to do something else on certain days. And besides which, I, I don't only do bedtime stories, it's just not the only thing I do. <clears throat> I produce a lot of gaming. Excuse me. <clears throat> choking up a little bit on coffee. I produce a lot of gaming content as well, and the gaming content that I publish on YouTube is pretty successful right now. Oh, uh, you like the pod cage? Oh, yeah, I saw that one and I had to add that. I like Sonic. That was too good. <laughs> goodness it was amazing I saw I, I I thought to myself what could I possibly add next and then I realized I have to add Nicolas Cage on here and then I saw several Nicolas Cage emotes and I said oh yeah oh yeah it's you maxed out on a chest press machine first and only did one rep. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know how good a one rep max is going to be, but... <laughs> Still, it's a good start. Just the fact that you can one rep it at all is impressive. I haven't done that sort of thing in a while. I have a hard time doing squats recently because my knee kind of hurts me. I don't know why.
What's on there, Adrian? Tron here, computer. Oh, okay. It looks like Don's been downloading more porn, unfortunately. Uh, let's see if we can decipher uh, the the message that was sent. Get out. Duh, do not. Do not. Uh, do not. What? What? Do not trust. Do not trust. Who? who do not trust who? Do not trust, uh, do not trust. Okay, I guess it's just saying do not trust because the rest just looks like gibberish. Get out, do not trust. Ooh, the laptop is haunted. I heard about Nicolas Cage. What about Nicolas Cage, my man? Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Well, yeah, mixtape. Or World War Ten. That's why I do it too, because it's funny that you mentioned that World War Ten, because I actually, when I first started on Twitch, one of the first things that I did was scary bedtime stories. But then I started playing adventure games, and like the ASMR crowd was really getting into it at the time. And to be honest, I regret stopping it back then because the crowds I was getting for it were really, really good and. I think I just had one bad night or something, and then I got a bug up my butt, and... Well, let's just say that I've matured a little bit and learned my lesson. So I, I thought to myself pretty recently that I really enjoy doing both things, so... Like, they seem like two great tastes that can taste great together because, like, this is so chill. You know what I mean? Sure, there's a few... there's a few instances where... You know, the, the excitement ramps up, but overall, the experience is very, very chill and very, very laid back. You wanted to see, I like Sonic, you wanted to see if you could still do it. You stopped working out consistently before COVID. I'm right there with you. I stopped working out for like two years after COVID. And it wasn't until October of this last year when I started working out with my girlfriend again. And she finally convinced me to do it because I have been, I I have been, I don't know, for a, for a really long time I was like a total basket case because of COVID. And I think that between content creation, content creation kind of helped me get my mind back in the back into the swing of things. Um, I I, I will admit that. I think I just spent so much time worrying about so many different things that I just needed to do something with myself and content creation got my head back on track thank god for that I like credit streaming with doing that streaming helped me <laughs> break out of my funk and get back into it but also working out with her um, has been really great because I've lost god, I, my weight ballooned up I lost, I've lost over 40 pounds now and I'm doing much, much better. Trying to lose some weight before your wedding next year. By the way, congratulations on your wedding, dude. Um, I hope you're able to lose those unwanted pounds before then. I'll tell you, as what what helped me lose weight was like, um, I started counting my calories, which is kind of, it's it's it kind of sucks counting calories, but. Between that and weighing my food constantly to keep track of exactly what I was eating and then working out consistently, uh, yeah, that's pretty much just how I did it right there. I counted my calories and then I varied what I ate by uh, eating a different number of calories every day and yeah, that pretty much made the pounds melt off. Um, as long as I was eating below, like, what, what also helped me was the Fitbit that my girlfriend got me, because it told me exactly how many calories I was burning every day. And I realized, good God, I'm burning, just like not exercising, I'm burning a little over 2,500 calories a day. That's crazy. A lot of days I'm burning even more than that. When I work out, I'm burning, like, excess of 3,500 calories. 
So that kind of put into perspective how much I really needed to be eating, or how much less I needed to be eating. If I ate below that, yeah, I'm going to lose weight, man. Of course, now I'm getting to the point where I might want to eat above that, because I'm... I'm, uh, I'm, I'm losing a lot of weight. I think I'm down to 190 or so. Anyway, I hope that the weight loss is going well for you, I like Sonic. Uh, World War 10, what are you saying over here? Sorry, I'm scrolling through chat. This could be ASMR as well, but it's nice because there's visuals, but I live in a big city with cars, trains, cop shootings, dog screaming, music, etc. while you sleep. Okay, so if you live in an area like that, I can see why this might be pretty chill by comparison. <laughs> so this must be sort of a godsend with, or at least uh, all the stuff that I do must be a godsend. Maybe, maybe not my Dark Souls or Demon Souls stuff. Uh, that, that gets a little loud. Uh, I'll, I, I'll be the first to admit that my Demon Souls and my Soulsborne stuff, uh, SK gets a little unhinged during those streams. <laughs> oh, I like Sonic. Do you miss that, uh, God. I was thinking about the Nintendo stuff that I want to do in the near future because Nintendo content is something that does very well for me on YouTube and also it does very well for me here on Twitch. And I wouldn't mind uh, working it into my schedule at some point soon. I have some casual stuff that I'm thinking of doing and I'm also thinking of working on some speed runs here and there. And I'm trying to decide... I've been trying to decide which games I want to learn to speed run for the near future. I'm trying to narrow it down to eight of them, and I think I've almost got it narrowed down. Lost about 30, oh wow, that's a lot of weight. 30 pounds is no small amount, Sonic. That's impressive. I haven't done cardio in a long time, personally, because um, cardio, I have a hard time with cardio because I have exercise-induced asthma, but a lot of what I do is just weightlifting, and that's the best way for me to do it personally. Oh, you lost 30 pounds too, World War? Yeah. 30 pounds. God, that, that, that's so much weight when you think about it. Just 30 pounds. Oh, hey, you got a Fitbit too, son? That's crazy. <laughs> We're all getting Fitbits. <laughs> yeah. Well, I did tell her that I had to lose some weight. So she got me... She gave me my Christmas present early. My doctor told me that I needed to lose 5 pounds in in two weeks or he was gonna put me on blood pressure medication because my weight was getting so out of hand I guess that really put into perspective how dire the the situation was I was thinking to myself god blood pressure medication I'm not an old man here <laughs> I don't need to be on blood pressure medication yet do I and then I realized oh boy okay we gotta I guess that really, I, things really have gotten out of hand. I need to drop some weight, son. I think changing what I ate just kind of helped things too. Because I was eating a lot of potato chips, like every day. You know those Lay's jalapeno cheddar chips? I just love those, man. Yeah, beer and salty foods. Uh... Kind of right, I'm kind of right there with you on the salty foods. Um, I haven't had a beer in a long time. I used to drink beer, but I kind of stopped. Like, yeah, I just stopped drinking altogether a few years ago, because... I don't know why. I just didn't really feel like I needed to. But cutting back on all that salty food... Whew. That's why whenever Will comes in and talks to me about salty food and shit, I think to myself, Oh, man. <laughs> I can't... I can't have that much salt in my diet. I ate a good portion of that Swedish chocolate bar that I was eating on stream, uh, like last week. And God, I spent the entire night in the bathroom. It was a really brutal night. God. Like, it was during one of the ASMR streams too, where I was doing ASMR scary bedtime stories. And... I had to pause the stream at one point and go to a be right back screen because 
It was overwhelming me. <laughs> oh, that sweetest chocolate. It took me down, bro. There, let's go back up to the attic. What's in that weird room that we found? Wonder how there. Salty chocolate, God. I know that AJ loves the loves the sweetest chocolate. Oh God, oh, that looks like something good over there, doesn't it? This is just what we love to see in our mirrors, squiggly lines. It's a lot of fog over there to the side. I don't know, man. If a mirror started moving without me in it, I think I would be deeply concerned. So of course, let's look. Okay, here we go. It's gonna get weird. Saw machine, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. Oh, God. Oh, look at oh. No. Okay. And oh. God, it's impressive her head made it that far without... Yeah, she was screaming for a while there, wasn't she? Oh, oh, oh man. Like, maybe I'm not getting the right takeaway from this, but she seemed like a really flexible girl. <laughs> oh, jeez. It gave you the Hershey squares? Yes, it did, I like Sonic. Uh, I was, I was doing a little redecorating that night. Oh yeah. Oh, that was pretty gruesome, wasn't it? Oh man. That's where all the money for this production went toward all the gruesome deaths. Let's go back in there. Can we watch it again? I don't think I will. We probably should stay out of there. Okay, no, we're not gonna watch it again. Instead, we will just get deeply foreboding music. Sonic says, I love how the mixed media of these footage video game graphics was thought to be the future of gaming back in the day. It really was. They thought that full motion video was going to be it. From 1992 until 96, they thought, yep. The future is at our fingertips, and then 3D finally came out, and then they realized, oh, 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 yeah, this is, this, this is the stuff. A lot of people will come in and remark how nice the graphics look, and they're not, they're not wrong. <laughs> I mean, like, full motion video, it was a not it was a lot nicer looking than say some of the things that were coming out in 1994 1995 and you might even say that it looks a lot cleaner than say uh, early 3d graphics but also uh, the gameplay is a little sparse and that was true of all the FMV stuff dude I don't know if anyone out there has played any FMV stuff on the Sega CD but it's pretty brutal like Night Trap, that game sucks. <laughs> it's barely a game, bro. <laughs> I just wanted to see if it would do anything different. No, 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 it's just gonna have a child crying on our ear again. The vibe that I'm getting is that 
Roberta Williams had a disconnected idea of s scary things she wanted to happen in her video game. But I'm not sure she knew how to like tie it all together. Creepy baby laugh. You see, I would be a lot more creeped out if I knew it actually led somewhere. Because there's just, just, there's just a creepy baby laugh for no reason. Other than, the house is haunted. <laughs> yeah, I too am scared by a baby laughing, but for all the wrong reasons. Mostly because I don't really want children, bro. So the thought of a baby inside my house gives me heart palpitations. Oh, what's that? The scariest thing I can think of a woman saying is, I want children. <laughs> it's only happened with like half my girlfriends though. My last couple of girlfriends have not wanted kids, which is fine by me because I'm pretty okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, like, who can afford to have kids, man? Especially if you live in America. If you live elsewhere, sure. There you are! What is it, Cyrus? It, it, Ma! I, I, she, she told me to, to tell you to, to, um, oh, come to Dubon. Oh, that's Wait. sus. What for, Cyrus? Yeah, what are you up to, Cyrus? Uh, Come on, Lenny, spit it out. Uh, I, I think it has something to do with, uh, uh, oh, the seance. Oh. Oh, okay, thank you, Cyrus. Oh. What the hell kind of music was that? Do they know what they're doing when they were making this? Why they play, like, sexy jazz music there? What? That was totally inappropriate. That belongs in a Leisure Suit Larry game, not a horror game. <laughs> God, I thought we booted up Leisure Suit Larry in the Land of the Lounge Lizards for a moment, man. What is going on here? You're right, Sonic. It is a pretty big make or break. Um... It was really baffling is people who never talk about it until after they get married. And then they finally talk about it once they're married and realize, oh no, we are utterly incompatible right now. And either they get divorced or someone has to make a compromise. Yeah, that was that was pretty sexy music there. You all, we all heard it. That was too sexy. Oh, we we're gonna land ourselves another scene with Don there for a moment. Although, I mean, you play that music during that one scene, it's completely inappropriate, bruh. You don't want to be playing that none. All right, let's go have ourselves a séance. This is gonna get weird. Oh, Adrian. This is what happens when you invite hobos to the property. Room and board, they say. Oh, look at him. He's making himself look all nice. Or what he thinks is nice. What he calls nice. Oh, Ma! She's here! Got a curtain and everything. Oh, Spirit world. Oh God! Oh, Please have a seat. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Let okay. the seance begin. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Oh God! 
All right, they're joining hands. She's. Oh, elusive spirits of the netherworld, heed us now. Talk to us, O oh, shades of darkness. Give us a gleam of your essence. They already did. It was the ectoplasm Give in the us a baby sign room. Of your spiritual being. Think they're biting. I don't think you know what you're doing, lady. Oh, restless souls, this poor gal seeks answers, answers to questions unknown. You just got to. Oh no. Now why is the metal in the affairs of the dead? Oh. Jeez. oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. What the hell? She just vomit up. God, that's just gack. Oh, sweet Jesus. Ellis. I. Zoltan Karnavash. Was greedy and foolish. And open the door to the dark dimension. I released some obscenity. An entity of pure evil. It had been contained. But now the pestilence is free to infect once more. You are the chosen one. Only you can send it back. I believe it is, Sonic. Yes. Find the dragon. It will show the way. Well, this is no time to speak in riddles. That was one hell of a hairball, lady. Uh, apparently you apparently you ate something. It yeah, was that no. rabbit stew. No what? Harriet, you did it. You really did it. You're not pulling my leg now, are you? No, I wouldn't oh, do she, that. She's just as surprised as you are. <laughs> that's never happened before. Wait, that's the first time you've ever done that? Really? <laughs> Okay, well, I, well, I wouldn't be surprised if she did die, vomiting her rabbit stew. That was an action evil spirit we were talking to, by the way. That was just a parasite that came out with the rancid rabbit stew that they were eating. Because Cyrus was skinning a rabbit, and she was making the fixings for a broth. Uh, what's the story? Um, God, how do you describe this? Alright, so this lady finds, like, a chapel in her house where there's... It's very obviously a cult, right? Yeah. There's a cult chapel sealed off in the back of her house. So, she opens a box, and inside of it is the spirit of Karnov, who rushes out. And then... It invades the body of her husband, so now he's possessed by the evil of Karnov, or, or Karno. Alright, it's Karno, not Karnov. I mean, whatever. <laughs> the evil spirit that possessed Karno, I guess, is, him, is possessing Don now. And now it's making him more and more evil by the day. So that's why he's having violent mood swings. Now, what do you think of that cage vamp emote? I like Sonic. I saw that and I kind of loved it. <laughs> it was legitimately hard to say no. So, are we going to go talk to Don now? The good one? Yeah. Good. 
Wait, what the hell's going on here? Just having a whole party now. Well, what do you see there, Adrian? Oh, they didn't want to show up the money for this, did they? I what hear a hell? party, but I don't see a party. Budget limitations. The video game. Come on, show us, show them. Good God, they're not even going to show them drinking. What, what is this? Fine, go get a bottle of booze. I could use a drink after playing Phantasmagoria for like four hours. <laughs> what system did you originally play this on? Um, this is a PC game, and it was, it was released on Sega Saturn and stuff, I think, in Japan, but... Here in America, it's only been released on PC, so I played it on PC. Like all these adventure games, just about every adventure game is a PC game. There's a handful of adventure games that were released on console, but um, not very many. I think of a few, like Scooby-Doo Mystery was one that was a Genesis-only release. Then King's Quest V was released on Nintendo, and so was Maniac Mansion. I don't know why, but they did. <laughs> Take the bottle. Take the bottle, Adrian. Seems she thought like there was more here before. Oh, wait. The God damn it, are the ghosts drinking my booze? Adrian, you gotta do something about the... You gotta do something about these ghosts. They're drinking all the top shelf shit. You can't have that. They're eating up profit. Grim Fandango? Yeah, I've got Grim Fandango. I played uh, Grim Fandango... I, I've never played it on this channel, though. Um, probably because... I think there might be an issue with the music or something that gets it, like, copyright claimed, maybe? Maybe I'm thinking wrong. Maybe that's, um, Full Throttle that I'm thinking of. Because they have licensed music from a biker band in that game, and... Well... It's, it's kind of hard to do that one, unfortunately. The Grim Fandango. I played that one... God, I played that one probably almost 20 years ago. After getting a copy of it for from my mom. And as I recall, it was a great game. Grim Fandango? I don't think Grim Fandango was released for anything but PC. Damn it, it's locked. Um, I know that Escape from Monkey Island was released on the PlayStation 2. Yeah, that one that was like one of the last adventure games that LucasArts did. It was released on the PlayStation 2. And I remember playing it briefly. Um, never have completed it, though. Yeah, I, I saw that Grim Fandango got a remaster, Chozo. And I, I have it, actually. What they did is they turned it into a point-and-click. Well, you bought it on Switch? It's a pretty good adventure game. You should give it a shot. But what they did, essentially, is they turned it from a tank-control-type game into a point-and-click game. Because they figured out, well, this tank control stuff is kind of eh. I played it pretty recently just to try it out, and it actually works pretty well. God, Chozo, I love the Switch so, so much. There's so much great indie stuff coming out, man. And, like, it all comes to Nintendo Switch, and I love playing things on my Nintendo. Is it weird that the Nintendo Switch is, like, my favorite console? <laughs> I feel like the PlayStation 5 is really is really nice to have, just for modern stuff, but also, I don't know. It just seems like there's more quality games to get on Nintendo, on Nintendo, um, on Nintendo's online store. 
I guess it goes to show you that it's not all about the graphics. That's a good one. You got, do you have a switch I like on it? I've been thinking a lot recently about the content I've been creating. And uh, all the stuff that I've been doing over on my YouTube channels that I've been putting up there has been doing extremely well on my retro gaming channel. And recently my regular gaming channel, my modern gaming channel, has been doing extremely well too. Much to my surprise. Turns out when you when you upload consistently, you get results. Who knew? <laughs> The girlfriend only plays Switch. She has a pretty good gaming PC, but she never uses it. Oh my god. Well... Oh, you mostly, wa you mostly watch her play. Well, the Switch is actually really, really cool. Um, I've been playing, like, Signalis on it, and I've been playing the Mortuary Assistant on it. Funny enough, the Mortuary Assistant only got ported to the Switch. It hasn't been ported to, like, any other console. I think it might be a Switch exclusive in terms of console ports. That, that was really shocking. Like, I was just perusing Nintendo's online store recently, and then it turns out... Wait, they got the Mortuary Assistant? I had to... I did a double take to see that that was the case. I'm like, oh my god, they do. Is it... is it playable on the Switch? And then, well, the answer is yes, it's playable, but it does have some bugs here and there. <laughs> Uh, they've been kind of ironing them out as they go, I think. But anyway, the Switch Pro controller, I got that recently, and I absolutely love that controller. It's so comfortable. I think I like it better than the PlayStation 5 controller, and people have been telling me how comfortable, comfortable that is. Much to my shock. I didn't expect to like it so much. Alright, let's talk to Don there, Adrian. How's Donnie boy doing? Come on out, Donnie. Don? Are you in there? He is. I wouldn't go near him, Adrian. Yeah, we're not getting in there. Did I ever beat the Mortuary Assistant? Um, actually... Yeah, yes, I did. I've beaten it several times. And the only thing is that I'm trying to get, like, this one ending for the Mortuary Assistant. And it's got some kind of specific circumstances that you have to work out. He's doing something there. He's supposed he, he's well there's a reason he's locking himself alone in a room. Wink wink nudge nudge. Maybe he's in bed. It is nighttime after all. Oh well, that's concerning. Hey Picasso, what do we got on that picture today? Oh, what the hell is that? What is that? What is that, a skull or something? I don't know what that is. I don't know, this modern art here just keeps getting weirder and weirder every time we check in on it. What is that? Oh, wait, what do we got here? Oh, hey. Oh, it's a, it's the painter smock. Yeah, we already looked at that. Well, the Mortuary Assistant on Switch is still a little glitchy here and there. Um, there's like a closure ending that I'm trying to get. So I'll probably make an attempt at that soon. I've been kind of leaning into um, Demon Souls recently. Trying to work my way through that during my fist only no armor run. That for some reason people just want to watch. I have no idea why people want to watch 
want to watch this run, but god, the numbers on it just keep looking better and better. <laughs> Well, as long as people want to keep watching, I'll keep t I'll keep doing it. Oh wait, we can actually do something with this now. I think. What are we doing with it? What, what are you looking at? What? What is this? I don't know. You tell me, Adrian. It looks like a low-res crystal. Um, oh, wait, it's a movie projector? Oh, that's weird. I had no idea that was even a thing. Okay. I've never seen a projector like that. The dragon will lead the way. Dragon will lead the way, huh? Well, let's see what happens when we press on that dragon. Oh my god, secret panel! Look at that, guys. We found a secret passage. Dragon will lead the way. <laughs> you love the expressions. Well, I think there's a reason that we've never really seen Adrian here in anything besides this. I don't think she's appeared in anything else. I certainly don't recognize her from anything. At least some of the people on Gabriel Knight 2 actually appeared in stuff. Like, the guy who played Gabriel Knight, he showed up on Frasier. Um, I think he did some other things. Uh, Criminal Commissar Lieber from that game, he appeared in Darkman and a few other feature-length films. And then there was, yeah, there were a few actor, there were a few actual actors in that. This has just got like all, all unknown talent, I think. I imagine that Ken Williams was trying to keep the cost of this bad boy down. And he's getting so mad at his wife for <laughs> making the budget go so, so over, over. God, oh, that looks really inconvenient. That's the, the slowest elevator ever, dude. How's anyone supposed to get through that? Hey, okay, what's here? Oh, this is sus. Oh. Oh, it's a viewing slot. Hmm. Shades of the Colonel's Bequest. Curiouser, curiouser. What do we see through that slot, Adrian? Anything we care to... I wish I could look in on Don. Perhaps we'll find him in one of these other slots. I think this is where Carno came to do his evil peeping. <laughs> Carno sliding the viewer back, meanwhile whispering to himself, I like to watch. <laughs> oh, use cigarette. That seems important. Yeah, put that in your inventory. Come on, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Put it in your pocket. You maniac. Okay, she left it where it was. Alright, she's... That's actually rational. Why am I insulting her? I thought she was going to put that in her pocket. Oh my god, I would have flipped out a little bit if she put that in her pocket, man. What's this? The lever. Pull it. No, you want to. And yeah. Oh, oh god. Let's 
so there's secret passages in every room. It's a pretty big hole in the wall, I know. Like, you're never gonna get away with it staring in on someone like that. They're gonna notice. Just imagine him open the slider thinking that he's being sneaky and meanwhile he's making all kinds of noise behind the wall and the, the person inside the room immediately darts their attention toward the hole in the wall. The massive, like, two inch by six inch hole. He was. I know. I, I, you're not telling me anything I don't already know. Like, you got the slider on the wall there, you think that the smoke isn't just wafting in through the cracks? Come on, Carno. You know better than that, man. Alright, Adrian, get in there. We got some more exploring to do. God. Keeps finding layers and layers to this house. We found ourselves another elevator. Well, obviously, we're gonna take it. Oh, it goes down? There's more to this place? Excuse me. Hmm. Here, I wonder. Uh oh, watch your step. Oh my. It's too far. That'd be a long jump. God, that is a long jump. She's never getting out of here, is she? God, look at this. I can't believe this place. It's so... Unbelievably... Oh, Ooh, we this that 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 looks this looks different, dear sweet Jesus. Oh my God! Oh, that's not good. Can we get back out again? Well, you can't find anything, Adrian. Oh, we're in trouble, aren't we? Oh, that wasn't quite what I was looking for, but I guess it'll do. Here, let's unlock this door. Finally. Oh, come on, you tell me you can't unlock that? Yeah, well, there she goes. Alright. Yeah, that's how we do it. Don. Oh, don't get his attention. Not yet. Jesus Christ. Wait, he's been drinking all the booze? Oh, for God's sakes. Look at him. God, that's... Just look at you. <laughs> that's your husband, lady. I don't care anymore. I just don't care. Oh, uh, how much work is this? Bed. Wait, don't go to bed yet. Oh, that was the end of the chapter? Really? We didn't even have a look around the theater. God. Okay. Um, that might be bad. Maybe. Chapter 6. Saturday, October 22nd, 9.20 a.m. Which chapters are in this game anyway? I don't know. Eight, I think. Nine twenty. God, it's kind of early, huh? Nine twenty. Sounds like a miserable time of day to be up. 
All right, feel a little hung over there, Don. Is he still hugging the bottle? Don. Sobered up yet, big guy? Adrian. Are you all right, honey? Yeah. I just hit the whiskey a little too hard last night. That's all. Aw. Don, let's leave. Please. We've got to get out of here. Look what this, this place is doing to you. Leave. Leave. This is our home, Adrian. We can never leave this place. <laughs> We're stuck here forever. Yeah. What the? Oh, wait! What happened? What happened to the kitty? Oh no! Oh, what do you want? Hi. Yeah. I'm... I don't care about the damn phone. I'll get out of here as soon as I can. All right, fine. Get in here and fix it. I need to leave. <laughs> I think he... maybe? God, did he eat the cat? Oh my god, I hope not. That's horrible. <laughs> that son of a bitch. I can sense the hatred in her voice. It's palpable. She knows what he did. He killed the cat. Where's the kitty? God, maybe he did eat the cat. Oh no! My god, this guy's the worst. This guy's gotta go. One of the worst things I've ever heard. He just... Like what? Did he just sit on the cat or something? Did he eat the cat? All we got is a cat's collar. Oh man. My heart is breaking for that poor, poor kitty. I cannot handle this kind of treatment for, from, for four kitties. Hey Mike. Oh, hi. I'm just finishing up this job. I'll get out of here as soon as I can. Mike, I want to apologize for Don. He just... He hasn't been himself lately. Well, you don't have to say nothing. I just don't want to get tangled up in family quarrels, that's all. I know. I understand. You know what? This guy seems all right. Uh, you better get back to work. Yep. Got a sense of professionalism about him that I really like. He's just trying to do his job and he says, Whatever's going on with you guys, keep me out of it. It's a simple request. One that Don appears unable to honor. That's what I was wondering, to be honest. He kind of does look like he's straight out of a porno from then. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, when this is happening, is she, like, is Adrian gonna hook up with him? Like, is she just gonna have enough of Don and then, oh, god, that's, like, what the hell am I looking at there, man? Look at this place. It's so fancy. Did they even know that they had an entire theater in here? Oh god. Yeah, you better be careful there, Adrian. Is that, is that, 
Well, I guess that's what's going to happen to us. Here, let's look through this viewfinder over here. Show us more spooky things. <laughs> Show me something metal. I would be careful looking through that if I were you. The Incredible Carno and the Horrifying Throne of Terror. That's Carno, huh? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a most spectacular show. Carno looking. You will witness an extraordinary performance, the likes of which. Have never been attempted before. Which have never been attempted before. <gasps> well, don't look away now. In this, his newest feat, featuring the horrifying throne of terror. What are you doing, Marie? Oh, uh, why? I saw you with him last night. Admit it, you're still seeing him, aren't you? No! You're out of your mind. The act that we have all been waiting for. Oh, my lady. Ladies and gentlemen, the incredible Arno! I think my lady over here is in deep, deep trouble. Yes, that is the twisty neck man. That is Carno. The antagonist of this. I guess you would call him. I don't know, it's kind of difficult to figure out, you know? Yes, trap him in his chair. This is a fine place for him. Where he can never get out and hurt anyone ever again. Go to hell. Damn, that was cold-blooded, girl. Respect. Oh, she's gonna make sure of it. And... Yep. I think his goose is cooked. I think it's all over for Carno. Uh oh. Girl, you gonna light him on fire? Oh, sweet Jesus, she is. Gee, oh my god. Oh, that's horrible. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> What now? Oh. oh! That's how Carno died, huh? Jesus Christ. It's a fitting end for him, I guess. Oh my god. That was so good. <laughs> I love this FMB stuff. Oh god, there's more? How much more could there possibly be? There's more? Hmm. Well, I guess let's watch another Carno video. Wait, 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 we gotta check his wardrobe first. Oh no! Evil puppet! Oh. What's this? There's only one thing in here we can click. Carno and Malcolm, 1897. 
Yeah, that was a while ago. That kid looks a lot older than 10. By this time, Malcolm is supposed to be like a hundred years old, 110 years old or something, man. He's really, really old. All right, I'll bite. What's in the mirror? Ah. Ah. Thanks, puppet. That's the puppet's expression. I mean, that, you're not wrong. Oh, hi, Carno. Looking good, man. A little rough around the edges, but nothing a few band-aids won't fix. Not sure what to do about the burns, though. Um, yeah, you might be stuck with those. <laughs> oh, that was... God, everything that we encounter in this is just the worst. <laughs> Uh-oh. I hear evil music. I'll tell you what. Let's uh let's let's go to Malcolm's house. Since we found a picture of him, I think that it would be a good idea to go and find him. We gotta go into town. Let's go see Malcolm. Because I believe it will be story time as soon as we show him the picture we just found in the theater. Old man, do I have things to show you. Memories to uncover from yesteryear. woman in this house, the woman of this house is going to get so mad at us for disturbing him again. But we have to, because we need to know things. We have to discover the mystery of the Carnivash estate. Hmm, sweet 3D doors. God, I can't get over that pixelization. So realistic. Yes. Hello Radio. again. It's good to see you. Well? I come bearing gifts once again. Here, I wanted to give Malcolm this old photo. <laughs> I found it at the Carnivash estate. Mm -hmm. It's a photo of Malcolm and Carno. See what's written on the back? See Malcolm as a young boy. Please, you've got to let me in to see Malcolm. It's important. Just a minute. He'll meet with us. He's anxious to talk about it with someone. Malcolm will see you now. She is here, Malcolm. Set. Here he comes. Sweet Jesus. I remember. <laughs> what was it? This picture. I was just a young 
nipper of ten. Kano was my hero. Then. Your hero? Yeah. I know why you saw in this picture. Saw? Yeah. The evil. It's back. You could say and that. My husband? <laughs> it meant me to live for you. What? Yeah, but lady. Sit down. I have something to tell you. She's gonna love this. Not a day over twenty? Oh yeah. Arno and his first wife adopted me. I, at that time, he was a good man, respected by his colleagues, loved by his wife, admired by his audiences. But Listen. all that changed when he got the book. Oh. He gained immense powers through contact with the black forces. Through the book, he unleashed the demon. An entity so evil it has Watch no the dark arts. No worldly description. Carno became like it. He became Behold his power. Very powerful. And his his fame and and, and his wealth. Increased, but he was cursed. power, you say. He had loved his wife Hortensia, their baby daughter, but all <laughs> that changed. He became abusive. I power. I don't have proof, but I believe be he plans. killed them both. I believe. He killed all his wives. But Malcolm, what happened the night Carno and Marie died? Carno's final days came when Marie took up with his prophet man, Gaston Oof. Warwick. Obviously, Marie suspected Carno of committing terrible deeds with herself as his next victim. Together, Marie and Gaston hatched a plan. He had a new act, an amazing feat of escape. But Marie rigged the machine. Mm. Carl couldn't escape. They figured it would kill him. They were right. It almost did. Oh wait, almost? Hey, what? I mean almost. For two weeks, Carno lay in a coma. But then, one night, he awoke, swearing revenge. <laughs> I saw Carno drag an unconscious Gaston into oh, his no. theater. There, oh. from Within the secret passages, I watched as Carno tortured and mutilated the poor man, leaving him for dead. Then it was Marie's turn. Totally crazed, nothing but pure revenge on his mind, Carno started up that god awful machine, that awful Ooh. contraption. And before my very eyes, I'm sure that he died. I'll never forget Ooh. the look of shocked surprise on Carno's face. Magic Freddy Krueger. Gaston was dying. 
this. That's his final heroic. Holy act. shit. The prop man got Freddy Krueger, bro. To my horror, I then saw a demon. That's all I know to call it leave his body and disappear through the theater floor. I knew where it was going. Oh, no, no, Bro, you going. got a trap slimer. My only thought was of running away, but I, I hesitated when when I saw Carno going to the same place the demon had gone. I rushed back to the hidden passages just in time to see Carno carrying the God. chest which just held a... that evil muck. Then, this doesn't just die. before reaching the chapel, he stumbled and fell for the last time. I saw him cross himself in the Catholic way before dying. I think he was trying to make his peace with God. I picked up the chest containing that horrid book, and I assume the demon itself and carried it into the chapel. I really don't know what I thought I was doing, but somehow I, I, I felt as if I were containing this. Kind of did, didn't it, man? Evil. Just the I worst prosthetics you've ever seen. Forever. After leaving the chapel. Fifty dollars worth of Halloween USA prosthetics. Arnold's body back to his secret chamber. Hey, what? Where he now lies. But wait, Carno's not in his tomb. No, no, no. That is Gaston Warwick. He he was so mutilated that they all thought he was Carno. Oh God! I said nothing. I let them think what they wanted. What the hell, old man? What about the demon? The demon? Oh, that's why I agreed to talk with you. Somehow, it must have been released. Oh my God. Don. Yeah, he's in trouble. He's gone. Just. What can we do? Nothing. The only answer is the accursed book. Oh, with it, you, you've got to send that, that thing back to where it came from. Back to the other side. You have seen the book. Yes. I thought so. All right. Young woman, you're the only one who can do this. Your husband's soul is ensnared. I'm, I'm not sure what I can do or what can be done for him. But Whoa, if you so. can somehow get close to the demon, here's what you can do. You'll need the book, a, a holy item, Okay. Um, the stone of Hammurabi. Wait, what? And the blood of a sentient being. Now, take the book and... Uh... I mean... <laughs> yeah, Sonic, I kind of agree here. Are you sure we can't just leave... Uh, Don for dead. Can we just go? Like this lady needs to just leave. She's already like a successful novelist, dude. She doesn't. She doesn't need to be here. Who are we kidding? All right. Well, I guess that's the end of that chapter. I assume. Uh, yeah. Pretty, pretty sure.
Wait, is that the end? Is there more? Oh, wait, this the telephone guy is still here. Hi, telephone guy. Okay, Adrian, you're all set. Oh, there Great. he is. Phone's in and it works just fine. Why don't you go ahead and test it? Okay. Hey, we got phones now. Hey, we can call for help. Perfect. Good work, my man. Uh, Mike? Mike. I want to apologize for Don again. Just hasn't been himself lately. But normally, he's a very nice guy. He... <sighs> really. Yeah, don't even worry about it. It's no big deal. Do you call me if you have any trouble, okay? Oh, he's, make, he's making a move. Sure will, thanks. Man. He's gonna be the hero. He's gonna save her from danger. Love how he just drops that on, drops that bombshell on her. On, uh, and okay. <laughs> All right, I guess I guess she ain't gonna call him. Oh my god. Oh, that was, that was, that was special. God. Chapter 7. She's getting ready to leave. My God, that cackling at the end, that was awful. Oh, no. Don, what you doing there, man? He's, he's making himself look pretty. God, has it only been like seven days? Seven days and she's already she's already ready to bail. God, is he cutting himself? Oh, what the what the hell, Don? Oh, don't don't look at the picture. Like relationships over there, Adrian. Oh wait. Hey, she showed foot! She showed foot! <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, man, that colorway really ruined the mood. Really, it really ruined the mood, man. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> Was that your war paint there, Don? Get ready for battle. <laughs> oh my god. That was so good. <laughs> this is this, this is so good it brings a tear to my eye. Mmm. I can't go like this. I'm gonna do something. What are you gonna do? Just go, man. Just go. Don't stay here. 